Let's talk about how just being you can make the biggest changes in your life. Stick around. It'll be quick and easy and lots of fun. Hi, I'm Linda Armstrong. For those who don't know me yet, I'm an awakening coach and an energy healer. And I like to talk about all things to do with loving your life. So the thing I've discovered lately is that truly by being yourself and doing things that you love, you can create change in all areas of your life. <laughs> so for me, um, it really came to my awareness when for no reason, my business started shifting well, for no reason of course there was a reason right but I didn't know what that was uh, I'll tell you what it was because now I do know but over the summer my business almost my coaching business um, almost came to a stop like I was not really very busy I still had some clients but just not as busy as I was and I had realized for myself and actually with the help of my own coach how I started to take on this energy of how it has to be to grow your business. So I started looking outside of myself to how other people do things. And of course, sort of cr cr trying to create from there. Okay, so from uh, so creating from someone else's reality, which in some cases is good. But the difference is when you notice, okay, if things aren't happening for you, like the way maybe somebody claims it ought to, you got to look at, well, why is that? You know, works for them, doesn't work for me. Well, why is that? And if you look at your own energy and you might see, it's just not really your way of being. So make, uh, uh, making things have to be a certain way, according to somebody else's formula, doing those steps, working that plan, whatever they might want to call that, um, can become work, like hard work, not fun work. So my work is play. Like when I'm doing, when I'm working with my clients, for me, that's just, it's like I'm in my playground because the energy, there's so much energy that comes through. It's like a real high for me to connect to that space and to help people overcome what's blocking them. Um, but instead of just staying in that beautiful energy that I experienced while I'm working, when I wasn't doing that, I started picking up on other people's energies or ways of how it ought to be done to grow your business. And that put the brakes on me because it wasn't me. So the energy became more of a forced energy or even an energy of, oh, I really don't feel like doing this right now, but that's what I'm supposed to be doing, so I'm gonna do that. Like, how can you create from that energy? But I wasn't realizing how it happened gradually how I started taking on a heaviness over that because it just wasn't my way of doing things. You know, I don't love putting out social media blasts and sending out email blasts and things like that. I don't, I don't love that part of it. And so um, it became work and it kind of took me out of who I am. And I think that, and that allowed for other energies to kind of attach to me because lower energies will draw lower energies. And so, it kind of shifted everything not in a good place. And then I realized, hold on, what's what's wrong here? And I, I noticed how I wasn't really, I wasn't being me and doing things the way I would like to do it, like I've done in the past when I created easily. So I brought myself back to that. And for me, in particular, has to do with, I mean, we're all creators and we all create in different ways. For me, I create through artwork. I've been an artist since I was born. I've always been doing some kind of artwork, you know, whether it's um, actual physical paintings, drawings, sculptures, you know, anything like that. Um, redecorating my house, faux finishing my walls, uh, refinishing a piece of furniture, you know, something creative like that. I kind of lost touch with that. I mean, for a while I brought it back, I was doing these mosaics and things, but then I lost touch of that. And I wasn't really being me for a while, for quite a while, I think. And so I realized I need to just be me and be that creator and be in that high energy. Because when I'm doing things like these, um, I call these inspiration cubes, you know, they, all, they have different words on them and I'm decorating them. And uh, it's basically the kind of thing where like, you know, you just toss it up in there, see what word it falls up. Oh, ease and calm. Ah, oh, okay. And that's what you take with you during the day. At least that's my concept around it. 
And you know what? I'll probably put these things up on my Etsy store and people might buy them. They might not buy them, but the energy and the shift it's made for me just in making them is, is all that was needed because it brought me back to me, back to being who I know I am and listening to my own inspiration. And by doing that, by opening up my energy and actually communing, asking questions of the universe, like, what can I do that would be fun to increase my business? You know, like I started asking questions without expecting and without having to dissect what the answer is because you know mind is limited you, you, you can only you can only do what you've already done before right because it's just based on old programs so to bust that open i just got into the energy of me into creating you know i've got these words i'm going to be painting this probably later today you know love peace um lots of different things i'm playing with and, and i'm just having fun with it and since i've been doing that and again, I told so asking questions of the universe and also pulling energy. So for me, wanting to build my business back to what it was and even better is um, I'm just pulling energy from all those people out there in the universe that I can serve, that I can help to move forward, to get through and past these things that are blocking them and holding them back. So I just put that out there. And I always like to put it out for past, present and future. All those people, past clients, present clients, future clients, just drawing the energy of those who I can assist. And since I've been doing that, I have <laughs> past clients coming back. I've got new people inquiring. I'm starting up with new people. And it's, and it's, it's just really, I'm feeling good all the time, right? I'm just being me and allowing the universe to I'm actually just being in the flow of the universe to allow these things to come, not blocking them by getting stuck in my mind of how it has to be done based on how other people have done it because we're all unique and we all have our own way. So it's great to find out things and how to do things from other people. Of course, I mean, I'm here telling you how to do something differently, um, but you have to see what resonates for you. What like, what if it, you know, like if it makes you feel lighter, you're like, ah, oh, this is good. But if it makes you feel heavier, if it makes it become like this negative side of work, for me, I like my work to be play. <laughs> if it feels heavy and it starts to be like something you have to do and you don't want to do it and you're dragging yourself to do it, well, guess what? It's not going to work. There is no way that it's going to work. Find it work for somebody else, but that way doesn't work for you. So then you look for something else. Find somebody else's point of view if you're looking for someone else's point of view, if you can't find it for yourself. But look for those things that light you up. Those things that make you feel light, that inspire you. That's why these are inspiration cubes. You want things that inspire you, you wanna move forward on those energies, because that always feels free and that always invites more. And then the universe will give you more. The universe is like, oh wow, she's finally open again to just receiving what we throw her away. She's not blocking it by these preconceived ideas or these other people's voices or programs or ways of being. She's allowing herself to be her in the flow. So that's all I'm talking about here. Find ways, it could be sports. For me, it's art. It could be anything that you really enjoy doing. It could be taking your nieces and nephews out to lunch, like anything that lights you up, do more of that. Treat yourself, honor yourself to be in a space of doing the things you love to do, things that bring you joy. That's truly how you're gonna shift the energy and create the change in your life. Well, that's all I have to say on that. <laughs> so I'm having fun with this. I'm gonna be doing more of this stuff today. And um, yeah, I'd love to hear what you think about that. Leave me comments below. Um, have you noticed times in your life when you were in the flow and then you caught yourself out of the flow and what you did to bring yourself back to the flow? Maybe comment below on what those what are those things that you love to do that you don't allow yourself to do? Like you're not honoring yourself to be in that space of doing the things you love because you have to do this first or you have to do that first or you have to do this first. And if you do those things, then you can allow yourself the space. Uh-uh. Allow yourself the space to do what you love and everything else starts falling into place. It just does. So it's worth the experiment, right? Play with that, see what happens. I would say it's gonna work for you. It's worked for me. And that's why I have to make this video. So 
Please subscribe, like, share, comment. Love your comments. And I'll see you on another video. Bye.